In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to change your primary market on Shopify. So what you're going to do firstly is to just go into your Shopify store and then of course also log into your account. And now you should be taken to this page right here. So now what you're going to do on this page is to just select settings in here as you can see. So click on settings and now you should be taken to this page. Now what you're going to do on this page is to select markets in here as you can see. And now it should take you to this page. As it's going to be a new market, what we're going to do now is to just click on add market in here, give it a name, for example, test market. And then you're going to now actually select the correct one in here that you're actually going to use instead. So let's take, for example, Singapore just as an example for this tutorial, and then click on add market, as you can see. But we're not done yet, just so you know. So you should now be taken to this page right here. So now click on shipping. And for some of you, it's going to be automatically added as a shipping rate. But some of you will not actually have automatic shipping rate. So click on manage and shipping, as you can see in here. Because you will actually need to add a shipping rate to this specific market as well, just so you know. So as you can see, I have this page right here now. So what you're going to do now, as you can see, this right here is international. So it is set to Singapore as well by default, basically. But if you don't have a rate right here, you can always click on add rate, as you can see. And then you can just have like a custom rate in here. Because when you do add a rate to your market, what will happen then is that you will now be able to activate it right here, as you can see. And that is basically exactly how to do this.